Uh, my best day as a Trojan came on a Friday night. Uh, we were about to play Stanford after losing to them at home the previous year. And I got an urge to speak up to the team. Um, we just um, barely skated uh, Oregon State. And uh, I just felt that we weren't playing to the, to the standard that we have created. You know, we had a great uh, room. We had a, a bunch of ballers at that time. I mean, Cedric Ellis, Lawrence Jackson, uh, myself, Kevin Ellison, Kerry, Kerry Harris, Ray, Keith, Clay, Kush, Lawrence, um, Kyle, Kyle, uh, Kyle Moore, um, a couple other guys that was in that room. These are all, these are all NFL guys. But we had a great room, and we weren't playing to the level. And I pretty much called everybody out and said, man, we got to get back to playing ball. And uh, was, that's exactly what we did that next game. You know, I think we – Beat them, beat them pretty bad, 45 to like 10 or something. I ended up having an interception and a touchdown. And uh, for me, that game always rings a bell because I think it validated my career. At that point, I was still searching for the, for the type of player I wanted to be and who I wanted to be. I've always been a vocal guy. Um, but the fact that I was able to, you know, lead my troops and go out there and deliver uh, kind of gave me a lot of respect amongst my teammates and more importantly, gave me the confidence to believe that um, I can actually play at a high level because I was still overcoming my – that was my first year back from my, my ACL. Um, so I was still kind of finding myself. But it, I just remember, like, I kind of took the pressure off and said, you know what, you're here, just play ball, and the rest is history.